The inside of Garen's earth bag bedroom includes a rocket stove, paper bag floor, and a pallet ceiling. So we're putting pallet boards up. We had to make a decision on what kind of ceiling to put in Garen's room. We had two types. We had the style that we had done over at the main house, and then we had the style we had done at Bree's house. Bree's was a half inch of foam on the outside of the roof, and then the roofing on top of that. In the inside house, we had insulation between the rafters. That's what we did at Garen's. Yeah, and this time we added some stain to it, which I think really gave it a more finished look. But I do have some helpful advice. Do yeah. not paint above you with your mouth open. So what mixture did you decide on? We change all the time. Two to four. We, we decided to just go with the cob on the walls rather than the lime plaster like we did with Breeze Room because we didn't really see an advantage to doing the lime. It was cheaper. Lime, we didn't have to buy lime for the walls. So we're just going to sand this wall a little bit, just get the, just the chunks that are kind of hanging. If you can see, there's little chunks hanging. So what kind of treatment did you use to kind of <laughs> fill in all the cracks? <laughs> oh, what was it? What was it? Sheet sheet rock, rock mud. Sheetrock mud? Yeah. yeah, and I got a little carried away with the sheetrock mud. It looks nice, but it did look kind of funny with all that on there and then until we painted it. Well, you start really filling in little cracks, and it's amazing how many little cracks are in cob. <laughs> <laughs> After the plaster dries, we paint. Garen and Ellie began construction on the rocket stove. A circle in here that fits that pipe. Stick the pipe through, and we need to dig it in such a way so that when they cement the floor in, they can cement around it. Bryson has been experimenting a lot. He spent days and days building small rocket stoves, so he learned some additional information that was real valuable. He had found a formula that at three times the size of your exhaust pipe is the height of the combustion chamber. So we had six inch pipe, so we had an 18 inch combustion chamber. And Garen, from the very beginning, actually for quite some time, he's been planning on doing a rocket stove that would be underground. And it's kind of a radiant floor, but mm -hmm. with mm -hmm. a totally different twist. Yeah, it goes through a 12 feet of pipe that heats the floor. We cover it with soil cement to floor level. It is wet down. Okay, set it on there and see what happens. A little bit. The stove is cobbed into place. Concrete is laid for the threshold and will be used as a point of reference for level. Bryson just went across with the, you know, measuring and and. Yeah, you used to, I have an old level that just has a couple bubbles in it, and uh, we used that as a screed and just screeded it level. Prepping it for the soil cement floor, really. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you got to get fairly flat and know that you have the proper amount of dirt in here before we started uh, doing the cement floor. Time for soil cement. We pour cement on top of the soil, estimating a 9 to 1 ratio. When we were preparing to do the soil cement floor, we needed a rototiller, which we didn't have. We made a deal with a local family that had a rototiller that wasn't working. Garen and Bryson are very good at fixing small engines in exchange for us having the ability to use it. Uh, that just worked out great. So we thank you so much, Kim and Jeff. Level it, wet it, tamp it, and let it dry for a few days. What are we doing, guys? I'm wearing these glasses. Something different, too, on the trim. And normally now you would, you know, on a house you'd use wood, which we couldn't use here because of all the turns and twists and bumps. So we decided, oh, we'll just put some cob there. And it works out all right. We mix seven sand to one cement for a concrete floor topper. Soil cement is real crumbly. It, it needs to have something over the top. And so we went with a kind of a cement smooth, smoother. A little bit more of a slurry cement without any large rock. We had a monsoon rain. When it got done the next day, we had all this really nice sand sitting right next to our clay pile. And so Bryson had gone out there and grabbed a bunch of that sand and brought it back in. And it's real fine. It just made the very best cob mixture. Made Get, for a nice hearth. Garen and Shay stuff. just was, they were just loving that and then they just got to town putting together the hearth and, and the tile around it and decorating very nice yeah just totally unexpected we weren't planning on doing that but it just kind of fell into place Oops. we find that garen and, and shay are the best at laying that, that cement floor they're very good at eyeballing that and making it pretty level makes for a nice finished level yeah and we're not really looking for perfectly level either but they do a great job where we top that cement with the Thompson's water seal, which helped to create 
uh, non-absorbent surface to be able to attach the paper bag floor to. One of the last videos we did on paper bag floors, somebody gave us a tip on that, which was wonderful. And there was another tip that was good too, which was soaking the paper a little bit longer to not have any wrinkles. Garen had decided that he wanted to use construction paper, like multicolored. Not uh, confident that that would be a good look. And we talked to Garen a couple times, kind of hoping maybe we could talk him out of it, but he was set on doing yep. this floor. We thought, well, yeah, make it happen. It's his room. As the kids started to lay it, it was um, it was bright, just <laughs> really bright. Uh, the pink just popped, and Garen even said, "Gosh, I can't believe how much pink there is in the floor." You know, so we had had a backup plan, and we we hadn't sprung that on Garen yet. And this was like the perfect time to then bring it up, and that was that we were going to use a darker stain over the top of that to try tone to it down. to tone it down. But to our absolute surprise. Oh man, it just brought out all the great colors and the richness. It was shocking. And we almost forgot to put bottles in Garen's building. So this was our last chance to do it. Is that it right there? While waiting for the stain to dry, we fill in the open area above the stove. She's doing the finishing touches. Garen decided to use that in his entryway. Mm -hmm. So we got a little bit of the cob floor on there too. Looks good. It's nice to be in the room when it's finally complete too. He's got uh, all of his stuff. Um, it just is a beautiful, a beautiful setting. It worked really nice. Very organic with the round walls and um, very nice. Yeah, it's a, it's a nice feel. And we're sitting in here, sitting on his couch. Yeah, we should move in here. Yeah. Please subscribe. For more information, you can click the website link below. Thanks for watching.